take two. Hi. <laughs> I am back. I just did probably about half an hour and I went to shift the camera as I was shifting the toes and the whole thing fell out. So here I am looking like a mermaid on my mat and I have realized that this is where we are starting from. <laughs> so welcome to the third Divine Body Love session with me. Divine Body Flow. And I'm really looking forward to this space here. So I just, I played some Native American flute um, and set the intention and just got comfy. And it's really warm in here, so I'm sweating, which is really good uh, just to let your body sweat anyway. So it's just gonna be in our own, marinating our own juices, so to speak. Uh, so I'm really feeling a lot of that beautiful sensual energy at the moment and we're going to play with that. We're going to open ourselves up a bit more. So uh, I just tied my hair up for a moment because it is really hot but uh, I'm feeling that we're going to let our hair out as well, allowing our hair to be open and long and connect with our hair as well and our beautiful, the pressure points in our head. So feel free to take your hair out now if you choose. Um, otherwise just stick with me and we shall get to that so I'm gonna work a lot on the mat on the floor so I don't have to move the camera too much but not just that um, I'm feeling like this is where we're gonna do a lot of work on flow a lot of work on the ground which is great being really grounded so first things first we're going to just slowly roll down onto our mat so I'm just holding my knees as you can see and the spine nice and straight and chest up for an inhale ah, exhale allow your mouth and jaw to open ah. tongue and sounds to come out allow yourself to be vocal Gently swaying, holding my knees, nice and easily. <coughs> Keep together. Inhale, spine elongated, chest open. You can suspend your breath. Recommend doing that for a little bit before you exhale. Gently moving. Now I'm going to just take this moment now to talk about a breathing technique that I feel is a, a brilliant technique to use. So it's actually breathing into four, uh, sorry, three chambers of your body. So the lower, right down into your, um, right down into your sacrum, through the back of your organs, right down to your lower belly. Uh, that's the lower part. And then the midsection or your ribs, your back, and then your upper chest, throat, neck, shoulders. So I breathe into it and on the inhale very slowly, I breathe into four parts of each of those three chambers. So I learned this technique through a um, tantra, a tantric book I, I read once and it was really beneficial. It was amazing for meditation. It's really good if you're just in a fairly still position. Um, I actually haven't tried it doing a lot of movements, uh, doing a lot of exercises, but I, I still suspend my breath and use this technique as well. So I breathe in to the lower front part of my belly first, then back, then side, side, mid front, back, side, side, upper chest front into the back, side, side, filling yourself right up with oxygen. And if you can suspend there for a few moments too before you exhale back the same way you went in. So side, side, back, front, side, side, back, front, side, side, back, front. So see if you can do that. It's actually a lot longer than that normally. So I will just do a, one or two here if you can do it with me. So feel nice where you're holding your knees. If you need to prop your bottom, put something under your booty like a um, towel, feel free because 
depends on how you feel. I'm getting a nice little massage here, but let's work on this breathing right now. So on the inhale. I just did one and I suspended at the top and the bottom. So if you can do that before you do the next lot, brilliant. So just needed to share that with you. And right now I've brought my hands up under my knees. You can do the same. And just give yourself a gentle squeeze. You can lift your toes up if you need to, if you want to balance. A little gentle pulsating here. Keeping your spine nice and elongated, chest open. You can see my alignment. So try not to tuck my um, coccyx under too much either. So keep it as nice and natural arched as you can in this position. So my head goes back, so my chest is leading. And you can see that my ears are more in line with my shoulders. <coughs> not head forward like most people is, jolting your neck forward. A lot, of, a lot of people, we all do it in the chia, protecting. Okay, so now we're going to release from there and we are now <laughs> ready to come down onto our back. So this is actually really important just to do this one vertebrae at a time, nice and slowly. Feel free to use your hands to balance you if you need to, to support yourself. And we're just going to gently roll one vertebrae at a time. Beautiful. Mmm. You can stretch your legs out here. Mmm. Delicious. Ah, complete openness and surrendering. Now here, I'm just feeling to just do some gentle hip wiggles onto the mat. So I'm sort of doing hip, my right hip up, left down, like just curving, like almost like a figure eight, if that makes sense. But side, so, so it's not like leaning forward. You just, you'll feel a rhythm of your own, just massaging your booty in to the mat. And you'll start to feel some nice little gentle rolls here, some body rolls, so you you have a little arch in your spine, in your back. Allow yourself to just move with this, nice and easy. Uh, oh, releasing, I'm allowing my feet to fall out to the sides and my palms nice and open here. Shoulders relaxed into the mat, nice and loose jaw. So now I'm feeling the tension I've been holding in my jaw. So you can release that by, I even hold it in my sleep. So if you are doing this in the morning, which I know you are, you may have been holding tension in your jaw when you sleep. So you can just Stretch open, so as you are like massaging, massaging and moving your hips into the mat, you will find your jaw might click and you'll feel energy moving and shifting in your jaw. Mm. I'm also giving myself a nice um, back of the shoulders rub in my shoulder blades. <laughs> this is a beautiful self massage by the way. You can actually even start to bring your hands in now you can leave them open for a bit longer if you need to but i'm really feeling for this to start giving myself some nice gentle touch up through my midline 
Let me know. This is where I am now going to release my hair. I'm feeling to release my hair right now as I'm lying on the mat. So if your hair is not already out, gently allow it to be loose and free, just like you, just like your soul, wild and free. And really running your, it's a bit tricky if you are wearing headphones, actually, but do the best you can, just allowing yourself to give yourself a beautiful, gentle head massage here. Ah, oh, really coming to the back of the ears, down into the temple, just loosening this tight pull here in the temples. Oh. Breathing, allow your eyes to roll back. No one can see you, you can be as hideous looking as you want to be. <laughs> oh, laughing's good too, just release. Uh, where you can feel, I can feel a lot of pressure and tension in points in my head here, so I'm just trying to gently hold and breathe in silence for a moment. So you just take your time. through your hair, the beautiful hair, mm. feminine, feminine locks. And while I was doing that, I found myself just, my, uh, the lower part of my body being quite still then. So you, you may find you're still massaging yourself, that is fine too. I just got very much in this beautiful zone with my scalp oh it is so good okay so from here we're going to bring our keep your back flat now on the mat and bring your knees up okay ah, staying relaxed and just gently lift your lift your hips up a little bit let's do a let's do a little bit of a wave here in my panties. <laughs> mm, anything goes in these videos, hey. Mm. I'm really feeling that energy down in my lower sacrum here right now. My sensual, sexual energy just gathering. Now I've just lifted my toes up, you probably can't see, and I've just, just given them a little crunch, a little squeeze like this, with the fingers too, it's really good. Just let go. Keep it compressed and then relax, just to really feel how tense your body is. Now scan your body. If there's anywhere that's holding tension and you need to massage, so my low, lower back is, yeah. Ah, releasing and opening your jaw if it is that, that area, the hips and your lower back. On the exhale, releasing, lowering the jaw, opening up on the exhale. Mm. Rolling the back of your head from side to side gently with a, like a no motion. No. Strong, healthy boundaries. No, I will not be doing that. I will not do that. And then a yes. Mm, yes, please. I, will, I am taking time to love myself up. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to bring our knees in and we're going to give our knees a big hug. And gently, gently rock from side to side. Mm. Beautiful. I feel the need to mention here that breathing technique I just mentioned earlier while I was sitting up before we rolled down with the three chambers and the four sections in each chamber is really good to do 
at the end of the session or the start to get yourself in the zone and to practice. Now stretching your legs nice up and allowing your coccyx to really push into the mat. You'll feel a bit of pull here, so if you need to bend your knees, that's fine too. You don't want to lift your coccyx up. And you find like as you will find that as you are bringing your coccyx down into the mat, that your legs might want to fall. <laughs> you don't want to arch your back either. Just keep your back nice and flat as you can. And I'm just doing some flexes with my feet. You can't quite see my feet flexing and then pointing my toes and flexing. Bringing them back towards you, pointing and allowing your ankles to open up. And now just opening my feet like mermaid tails. And then I'm rolling my circles with my feet in the air like this. Stretch, releasing. Gently pedaling, pedaling your legs and your knees. All the while, I'm still just gently touching my thighs, rubbing them, feeling your beautiful muscles working really hard here. And they're more sensual, lower motion, not as intense here. Oh, feeling it in my core as well. Let you step. Hold yourself again, nice hug. Really squeeze your knees in. Back of the head elongated, the spine elongated, just tuck your chin in slightly, looking down to your knees, and squeeze down, pushing your spine into the mat. Inhale. Elongate your spine, and then exhale, squeeze yourself, hug the squeeze, push it into the mat. You should feel it squeezing in your hip joints right here too. Allowing yourself to soften and open now. One more inhale, elongating the spine here. You can shut down your eyes if you want. Sometimes I do do that. And then squeeze on the exhale. Push, push, push your spine into the mat. Here. You want to get a flat spine on the mat here. Oh, and just <laughs> release at the same time. Let your legs hang low. Give them a gentle shake. Ooh, get that nice wobble going now, actually. Feel the wobble in your thighs, in your legs. Wobble, 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 belly. Uh. Oh. Oh. Letting your legs open and fall out to the sides here. Really focusing now on softening and opening into the mat. Breathing in. And melting into the mat. Open your hips. We're going to bring our feet up, our knees together. And you're going to now open your knees out and let them fall gently to the sides, feet together, um, bottoms of your feet together. Really allow your knees to fall as low as they can. If you need to push your feet out towards the bottom of the mat a little bit, that's fine too, just to deepen that opening in your hips right now. Breathing into your belly.
And I've got my hands actually in my groin area and I'm actually holding them, I've noticed, both over my orbital gland, but you, you probably feel, I quite often get um, mange glands and flange glands in my, especially in my left side. So just sending them some nice healing energy, relaxing. I've got it quite tight in this area too. Feeling really relaxed right now, beautiful energy. Allowing your body to soften and open. Soften, surrender, opening, allowing the flow. I did one round of that, um, the three chambers and four sections breath. I just call it the tantric breath, that's what I learned it from. It was beautiful. But I feel like I've made my own adaptation. So we're going to bring your hands now while you're still in this position. I'm going to let you just, wherever you feel called to go in your body, Give your body some beautiful touch and love in areas you don't often just touch centrally and softly, just to acknowledge. Acknowledge your beautiful self, your temple, and give thanks. Feel those little areas, those yellows. Mm. I went to the top and work my way down. Feels very blissful and relaxing right now. Fingertips, wrists, forearms, my armpits. Mm. Anything goes here, no matter how you touch yourself, there's no right or wrong. Just allowing yourself to feel where you need to feel. Some emotions may rise as we're touching our beautiful temple, giving thanks to her for all that she does, carrying you through this divine life, carrying you through, holding you, being with you. What a magical tool, creation and expression. So bring your knees up gently now. Just put one leg up here, and I'm just going over. You can see that you can start with whatever leg you want to do. Giggles are good. Giggles are good. Mm. Now bringing your knees up here. Gently wiggling. Ah, oh, big yawn. Stretching your arms out wide. Mm. Now we're going to bring your hands and your arms down by your sides. We're going to stay with our knees in the air. We're going to plant our feet and our toes, spreading the bottoms of our feet beautifully nice and evenly spread on the mat. We're going to do some hip raises. Yeah! <laughs> Get those pelvic thrusts out. <laughs> you almost did a wave then. Mm, that feels good. Okay, so you can do that if you want to. You can just gently lift up. We can wave down. It's fine. Sing nice and gentle here. Yeah, just do one little one. Just for fun. Ah, it's all fun. Mmm, lots of releases in my toes, my ankle, my right ankle. Mmm. Feel my lips here. Mmm. So 
complete deep inhalation and exhale, just pushing your hips up and straight up into the air as high as you can go. Try not to squeeze your buttocks. Leave your shoulders under you if you want, wiggle yourself, pushing up, just slowly and gently breathing. So you're pushing up from the bottoms of your feet, using your legs and feet to do the work. It's okay if you're clenching a bit, just be mindful and bring your focus to using your legs and aiming to get up on the back of your shoulders, really pushing those hips up. Chin is down. Let go of your buttocks, I was clenching then. Try not to let your knees fall out, keep your knees just hip width distance apart. Slightly in if you need to. Letting go of your buttocks and coming down, rolling one vertebrae at a time. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Let go of your buttocks. Really easy. We want to clench our buttocks and hold and hold and support us. The aim and idea is to oh, push up from the bottoms of your feet. So we're going to do that again. This time I hope you can hear me a little clearer. <laughs> so I have my palms flat on the ground on my mat. Again, fingers and toes spread. Deep breath in, ah, let go, exhale, release your tension in your shoulders, inhale and pushing up the bottoms of your feet on the exhale, raising your hips, push them right up, 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 letting go of your buttocks, no tension in your buttocks. If you want to, you can bring yourself up on your elbows, bring your elbows in and you can just give yourself an extra boost by pushing up. So your elbows are coming in pretty close together under your body. And you can rest a bit of your hip weight onto your hands for a little bit and then you want to use your feet to push them up. So I just gave myself a little rest then, but you want to actually keep that strength in your feet and your legs. Just extra support for your lower, your lower back. Just use your hands. And then releasing your hands back down, keeping your hips high, pushing up through your feet. And then slowly and surely, one vertebrae at a time, coming down and lifting. holding on to my lower back here. Mm, that's really nice as well. So I'm just using one hand and I'm gently rolling onto my side. Allowing that opposite shoulder just to stay close to the mat and just doing a nice little lower back stretch very gently, very softly. Releasing all tension and stretching the legs out again. Now we're moving into happy baby pose. So I'm just going to bring my hands up to the outside of my feet. And I'm just going to let my elbows come on the insides and my, just, my feet and legs to be like a little happy baby as if you're an infant. Just... <laughs> Just holding their feet, just rocking from side to side, looking at their toes, allowing yourself to open your hips. You can keep your legs up here if you want to, or you can bring them down. Just really focusing on breathing. Inhale deeply and focusing on letting go and releasing your hips on the exhale. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ah. 
soften your face, the muscles in your face, your jaw. Allowing your legs to come down out and taking a few of those beautiful deep slow breaths with the three parts and the four chambers in each. We're going to take a moment to do a nice deep breath work here. Just allow yourself to be open and soft and suspend your breath at the top and the bottom and stretch the end. Inhale. blissful moment. Now we're allowing the hands to roll and the feet to roll opposite directions and we're going to just gently roll onto our side. Mm. Come up onto your side. We're going to make sure that our elbow is under our shoulder. We're going to stretch our top arm right up, opening up the chest. See if you can just look at your fingertips. Opening up, breathing nice and steadily. And on that down, let's bring our, our shoulder over so our hand goes under the other hand. Good gentle twist and coming back up, inhale. Open stretch. See if you can twist gently. Then we're going to do that. We're going to raise our hips off the ground. So we're stacking our feet one on top of the other, our hips on top of the other. And you're going to gently, as you're breathing, you're going to raise your hips up. Push up. If you can, just gently, steadily flex your toes to a help. Flexing your toes, pushing your heels out. Looking up, straightening your arm, opening up your chest, hips up. Ah, and gently, gently, slowly coming down. Beautiful. Ah, just relax here. Nice boy. Just pushing up. Allowing to meet yourself where you're at here. A lot of things may arise because we've done a lot of hip work as well. Uh, now we're stretching to the side, so you might even feel a wave of nauseousness. That's okay too. Coming back onto that elbow, under your shoulder. As I say, anything goes here. This is a safe space. We're going to do that exercise one more time before we change sides. So again, stacking your hips on top of each other, stacking your feet, and I'm just uh, pushing my heels out so my toes are flexed, and we're going to come 
push up with your hands up, 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 raise your hips and stretching up the high, looking up to that top hand. Gentle smile. Come back down. It was quite an intense one actually. <laughs> I was feeling quite intense in that today. It's really good. Just coming up. And we're going to slowly, slowly, slowly move on to the other side. Letting your hair hang down. Feel your hair hanging onto your arms, your back, your neck. And again, we're going to do this beautiful hip stack pose. Pushing your hips up. Open up, looking up at that top hand, your fingertips, wiggle if you want to, opening. Inhale, bring it down. Do a gentle twist if you need to. Mm, this side, you'll feel one side's very different to the other, so my, uh, my right side was a lot harder. This side feels easier, so you might feel that as well. Take a few moments here to breathe. Mm. All right, now we're going to do that again. Stacking the hips, one on top of the other, elbow under your shoulder, and we're going to raise up, push your hips up to the sky, nice and high. High on our side. Opening. And when you're ready, lower down. Beautiful. We're going to come onto our bellies. I'm just going to flip around the other way, but you can just lower straight, or turn straight onto your belly. I'm just flipping this way because my actual camera is up this end. Onto our belly. Mm, let's do a bit of sphinx pose here. So, elbows under shoulders. You want your pelvis nice and flat into the mat. Give yourself a little jiggle, a little wiggle. And we're just allowing your chest to open up and come forward here. Facing forward. Mm -hmm. Pushing up with your, on the bottoms of your forearms. We're not compacting into the, we're not compacting into the lower back. We're actually elongating the spine, pushing the pelvis and hips into the mat. Being the sphinx right now. Feet flat, tops of your feet into the floor. Pushing up to your shoulders, chest out. Mmm, feel that beautiful stretch and just lowering down, head to one side. You can fit your arm over but you can spell out. <laughs> Resting the beautiful cheek onto the mat. Mmm, and you can actually bring your arm palms facing up, arms down by your side here and let your heels fall out to the sides. Your heels fall out to the sides and legs soften. Everything softening and melting into the mat. Breathing deeply. really beautiful to allow yourself to make some vibrational tones so you can either hum or make a sound with your mouth slightly open on the exhale when you're lying in this position 
because you actually feel your heart vibrating into the earth into the lap and it's beautiful the the vibrations you'll feel release and love love into mother earth from your beautiful heart your open and delicate heart that is oh so strong so strong and so fragile at the same time so deep breath in here that when I did that I just let the sound come out first I hummed like that mm, and really got that buzzing in my face but then when I was like oh, I could feel my chest vibrating into the mat and that was really deep so you can try that so now we're going to come up again into sphinx pose so pushing your your pelvis into the mat oh. Pushing up into your shoulders, pushing up through your shoulders, I should say, and opening up your chest, elongating the spine. You should feel that nice stretch. And some good releases. Take a few breaths here and then we're going to lower down to the other side. So I won't be facing the camera now. I'm going to take a moment of silence, do some breathing and humming for about two or three breaths, just some normal slow breaths. Here we go. Inhale, elongate the spine. Into a smile, inner smile. Really massaging uh, pelvis into the floor here. Yeah. Opening the jaw on the exhale. Try not to sink your head in, sink down, you want to stay up with the sphinx pose. And then lowering down slowly on your exhale. Changing sides of your face, allowing your hands to come out down beside you, melting into the mat. You may feel some nice deep releases there. Take your time. Take your time, relax or come up. So I released a bit of anger there, I could feel. My jaw clicked. Oh, it was so good. Mm. So now we're just going to, I'm going to face you, but you can stay where you are on the mat coming up onto your knees or all fours and 
can either come back into your knees and do this, but it's nice and easy, or you can come up onto all fours. Face to side. And we're going to just gently do some side movements here. Mm -hmm. Swaying your body. Wrists under your shoulders. <coughs> knees under your hips. Swaying from side to side, rolling your head. One way, and the other way. Release and letting go. Let your hair hang down. Shake it out. your belly button to your spine and stretch up or you can let your belly hang low and let it all out. Ugh. Just really allowing yourself to flow however you want to move here in this beautiful position. Cat cow looking up, stretching down, arching your spine and lowering your belly. Arching your spine in both directions, keep your shoulders away from your ears. Opening up your body here. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> if you feel called to, bring your palms out a little bit further. You can either stay there and keep moving like that beautifully, or you can push up into downward facing dog, which I'm feeling to do now. So spreading all toes out onto the mat. And you want to really lift your hips up high to the sky. Keep your knees bent and your elbows soft, not locked. But you want to twist your arm, or bring twist your arms so your armpits are coming in facing you and your chest is lowering to the ground and you're looking between your thighs. Pushing up through the palms of your hands. And then if you can, gently lower your heels to the mat, straightening them, feeling that stretch in your hammies, your hamstrings. But you want to make sure that you are not arching your back or sinking. You want to straighten your back, hips high. So if you need to bend your knees here, that's fine. And pedaling your legs if you need to as well. Taking a few breaths. And gently lowering your knees slowly. Letting go of your toes so the tops of your feet are on the mat. And stretching back into a beautiful child's pose. Open your knees so your boobs, your breasts and your belly can come between you onto the mat. Your boobs. Booby. Ah. And you can either put your third eye to the mat here. Just hold. Loosen the tension in the palms of your hands. Resting your elbows for a moment, or you can bring your face to one side. Get a deeper stretch if you lift your elbows up and stretch your arms out. Mm. Lengthening your spine, really bringing your chest into that beautiful earth, heart to Mother Earth again. Resets us, connects us with the earth, resets our emotions. Great to have your heart lower and your head lower than your hips. Mm. Working up a nice sweat in this gentle routine we've got going on. Nice soft, dewy skin. So beautiful. Deep breaths here. Mm, when you're ready, coming up again. Oh. Stretching out. Forward to 
like thinking you get to stand straight in your legs. Looking up, stretching back. Oh, I have a nice head spin there. Coming down, beautiful. Walking your hands back up. Mmm, feels really good. Taking a few moments here. Oh, my hands got caught in the headphones, that's okay. Alright. Coming to a nice cross legged position. either have one foot in front of the other if you feel like you need to do that or you can stack them it's okay stack the so I'm actually feeling just to prop my hips up right now onto a towel so I've just got my towel right here and I'm going to prop my hips up if you feel called to do that, great. Mm. Mm. And wiggle your hips back so you want your hips to be nice and flat. I'm actually going to move my right foot in, in front of my left. First, so I'm going to stretch on either side. Deep breath in, elongating my spine. Leaning forward and gently walking your hands out in front of you. You can feel that pull in the back of your, whichever leg's in front. And just coming down as far as you can, resting your forearms and elbows on the ground. If you can get your chest and your uh, face all the way to the ground, your third eye, fantastic. If not, does it matter? You can stay where you're comfortable or where it feels good for you. And just each exhalation, so each time you exhale, see if you can soften and deepen into this stretch. Elongating your spine on the inhale. Each inhalation, lengthening the spine, scanning the body for the tension, and on the exhale, letting it all go. Some nice vibrations and sounds in your belly. <laughs> when you're ready, slowly walking yourself back up. Mmm, beautiful. <laughs> so much wonderful releasing going on. Now I'm going to just gently swap my leg, left leg over in front, and we're going to do that again. So work through both sides. You can really walk your fingers forward a bit more, stretching your arms, stretching your back, making sure that your 
booty, just not lifting off your thighs. Really lengthening that beautiful spine. Everything you no longer need, just letting it all melt away from your body. And if you're ready, slowly walking your hands and doing some nice swaves from side to side all the way. Back, up, yeah. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. Now, I'm sorry, I really am trusting that me fiddling with these headphones that are falling out because of all the movement in my hair, <laughs> that it's not disrupting your sound too much. I'm just trusting that you are receiving all you need to. Mm, this is evolving each time. Alright, so once again, we're now coming into some nice little gentle movements, massaging our base into our towel. Mm, allowing ourselves to touch our body. Oh, open up. <laughs> bottoms of your feet, give them some beautiful love, gentle massage here too. So the trick is with reflexology, very good tip I should say, is to do clockwise motions with the middle and arches of your feet in a nice digestive and on the heels, this is all your pelvis area. So massage into that. <coughs> You might even find that it's numb in there in some spots. We've numbed ourselves over the years from sexual abuse and really shut up from there, but you'll find that as you keep deepening your practice. The divine body love sessions that you'll start to feel more sensations in your heels here. Gently giving them a nice, beautiful massage. And I want you to just keep, I invite you, I invite you to keep just massaging your, your feet if you need to. If you feel like that's all, your toes. Or just, you can even keep touching your body, running your hands over your body and swaying gently to the musical frequencies I'm about to play for you. So I have my Native American flute here. And I am playing this you to bring into fruition whatever it is you want to your heart desires what you want to bring in for yourself for the day for the year whatever it may be no right or wrong just allow this flute to help to help you awaken and materialize your dreams just swaying as I'm playing and just allowing yourself, or you can be still and breathe. This is your, you, you will know intuitively what you need to do. You can do the breath work I've walked you through.
thank you, thank you, thank you. For this divine space we have co-created here today. Many, many blessings. Always and forever, forever and always. You are the gift of life. Keep shining. <laughs>